Hey, welcome to Game Devs Play Games, everybody. I've started every episode like this, I think, the last few times, just being like, hey! <laughs> yeah. Are we ever going to introduce ourselves? It was funny, actually. He uh, talks to me the other day, and he's like, hey, you should probably start using your gamer tag in our videos. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then I just realized that all the videos that we've been recording lately, we don't mention ourselves at all. Yeah, I guess much that's less... kind of fair. And when we refer to each other, when we're like, hey, Nathan, or actually, no, we tend to refer to everybody on the show um, when they're not here. So we're always like, Kudo, that asshole. <laughs> and then later on, he's on the show and nobody knows it's him because his name is never said. Right. And then, and then we'll be like, Nathan did this stupid thing where he flared his nostril while I was pretending to pick his nose. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we are <laughs> so, <laughs> doing a game. <laughs> We're playing Sky Arena. Um, this is a game developed by Hammer Labs. Um, and we got a little bit of an early access look at it. So uh, my understanding of this game is basically that it's a Star Fox multiplayer inspired game. And, I mean, you can even kind of see that inspiration in some of these characters. Like this is, this looks like Wolf. Um, this looks like a fish. This is like <laughs> Lady a Falco. It's, it's uh, a bee. This is a praying mantis. A bee? Oh, uh, maybe no, it no, is like is a praying a mantis. This is a bee. No, that's, that's no, no, a no. bird. It's, no, it's it's a look at the colors, man. It's yellow and black. Have you never seen? That's orange, first of all. Okay, that is a bee, and you know it. <laughs> you know what? There's only one way to figure this out. I'm gonna oh, have to dang. be a bee lady. So yeah, it's just Nathan and I today. Um, oh, why do you oh, get to choose? Because screw you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's why. All right, crystal place, uh, jungle place, lava place, or random. Random it is. All right. Oh dang. All right. Oh, all right. So basically, ah, ah, there's a wall there. We just fly around killing each other in a an arena style combat. Um, I believe okay. ah, the matches ah, are ah, ah. time based. Um, so we have the quick shots. We can, I believe, hold and charge our our shot. I don't know if it does anything different per character. Um, we can use the left and right bumpers to do barrel barrel rolls or. Um, I believe different maneuvers too. Yeah, so you can hit both left and right bumper to do a, and like pull up to uh, do like an aerial spin. Which, by the way, I found out that this maneuver is not technically called a barrel roll. Star Fox got that wrong. What? Yeah, it's a, uh, oh shit, what is it called? It's called like an Aeon roll? I don't know. Look it up. It's it's not a barrel roll. I, I learned this when I watched something on the Game Theorists channel the other day. That is very interesting. I know, right? I, I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, they did a... I, the guy on the show did a, a flight test with like a real um, pilot for the Air Force or something, and uh, they were talking about a lot of aerial maneuvers, and... Um, basically talking about like what's actually used in real life and how accurate Star Fox got it. So it was actually really cool, but um, that's off the point because we're playing this game. <laughs> and we're talking about this show, not other people's shows. Did I kill you? You did kill me. Oh, first blood. Awesome. First blood. I'm healed to full health now. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a little, uh, no, there's a little thing. Oh, you picked up, up something. I now have a make luster. This music is out of control. <laughs> Just hear this constant ah, guitar wow. solo in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I want to use my Mega Blaster. I want to. Where yeah, are you? Charge, man. I can't. Okay, so it is timed. I don't see a timer on screen anywhere, though. Oh, everything's everything's curtains. Yeah, boy. Whoa! Did I almost catch you with that? Nope. But I did discover that you can twist left and right while um, while doing the like crazy uh, loop. Oh. You can pull up some crazy maneuvers in this. Wow, that's awesome. Actually, I really like that. So, what do you think of the very like circular level oh, design? Killed. Um, it. Because it's circular, oh, okay, I'll just run into that. Because it's circular, it caused a little bit of depth perception issues, and that's a little bit of an issue. Um, depth perception, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm having a hard time, like, not running into walls. Did I win? How did you win? 
Oh, I dealt oh. the most damage to you. Oh, that's a cool way of oh, being that, the tiebreaker. That makes sense, I suppose. I yeah. actually really like that. I, I wonder if... Oh, okay, that's cool. I get it. I get it. I get it. Whatever. I get it. So we definitely didn't really... Um... Find out if that was a B or not. <laughs> yes, that. I'm going to change characters. I'm going to be this tree. I can't move. You have to hit B. Oh, uh, you could be praying mantis. I guess I'll be this. No, I'm, I'm the bee or the I'm, I'm the that tree. Is not a bee. bee. I swear <laughs> I'm, God, I'm the bee, a... Nathan. Come on, on bird get on my bee. level, bro. All right. All right. Let's try this level, the screen level. I feel like the cursor moves pretty slowly. I think that's my only gripe about the interface. I think the interface is okay. Otherwise, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow, too much green. All right. Yeah, these these oh, levels are what? very color themed. I'm a f in a freaking UFO. You are going down. I'm in a box. I don't f with a jet on the back. <laughs> Whoa! There's a worm. What the hell? There's a what? Dude, there's just a giant worm circulating this planet. What are these little things do that I just picked up? So when I first checked this game out, I only played the first two levels. Ah, there is a giant worm. <laughs> oh god. We also, in the last match, we didn't really see any of the uh, special attacks. Ah, get out, get out, do a roll thing, thank you. Do, do a roll thing, not not a, a barrel roll, because that's not the official term. <laughs> oh dang. Um, but we haven't been re really using any of the like pickup, like special um, weapons. My words aren't very I don't know right. how. I keep picking them up, and I'm like, this doesn't look any different than what I was just using. I believe you use them with your left trigger. Left trigger, huh? So, like, right trigger will use your basic gun. Left trigger will use special weapons. And then A, I, if you hold A, I think it you just fly faster. I'm not really sure. When I was playing this by myself, if you let go of A, you just kind of stop. Or maybe you don't stop completely, but you... Just go very, very slowly. No, no, no. I don't want to die. Get the worm away. Uh. But it's, I'm the one shooting you, not the worm. You fool. Stop it. shooting me, worm. <laughs> Stop calling me a worm. <laughs> oh, man. I'll call you whatever I damn well please. Heat seeking missile. Yeah, boy. So there are some other pickups in this game that I'm not really sure what they do. Like there's little, um, like these little blue things. I don't actually know what they do. Um, I, I think health or something? No, I don't think they're health. I think, if anything, they're ammunition for your, like, special... Oh, laser! Oh! Damn it! Too bad. I think they're ammo for your, like, special pickup items. Oh, damn it. I can see that. I'm going to go to this um, cage and pick up whatever this is now. But at the same time, I don't know. I think that's one of my gripes about the UI in this game is that there's a lot of things that are just sort of uh, implied that I don't really understand without explanation, and I don't feel like we should be reading tutorial text to figure that out. Do you think that's text. just because we got like this really? Whoa! Yeah, boy. That was crazy. What Fucking, the hell was that? That was, was my that like Tron wall? laser. I, yeah. Once again, I had a special item and I never got to use it. Way to suck. Apparently. I think you won this one. Oh, I did. What the hell? What? Beat you by four, four damage, damage, boy. Ah, you're going down. If I didn't get that kill off, though. There would have been no hope. Use speed it. control, you can either use A or B to speed up and break or the right joystick. What? Okay, so we can just use the right joystick instead of A or B. Oh, that's, yeah, that's actually really interesting. I guess okay. it's kind of like a, a jet thruster. All right, I'm going to try Lady Falco. I'm going to use uh, the, the mouse guard. A very strange comparison. He's, but right. he's like got like half a face and missing an ear. That is a mouse guard all the way, my friend. He's he's a wolf. He's based off of a wolf I, from I, Star I Fox. I think he's a rat. He's. Oh, actually, I kind of like using the right joystick for acceleration and yeah, deceleration. The controls of this game, I think, are actually not too bad. Um, at first, when I was using the uh, the like main buttons on the the uh, 
the gamepad, I, I was like, eh, it's not bad, but it's not really good. But now using these other controls, it's which, by the way, it's nice that they allow, like, they accommodate different, um, I don't know, play styles, I guess. If you want to use, like, different controller schemes, you don't have to remap things. You could just change your position. Oh, yeah. Dang, I already killed you? Yeah. Yeah, boy. I'm a better pilot. I, I don't... Everyone that's watched us play uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time knows that I'm the best. No, no, you you got us killed like immediately. That's not true. You we were terrible. We would have beaten that game in like five episodes if I had been piloting that whole thing. Whole whole thing. No, that's not true. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> it's not at all true. Oh! All right. I found out. I used I used a thing. You used the special. Good job. About time. Now never do it again. Oh. I got this thing that I picked up. Yeah, that that is probably an inherent uh, uh, complaint is just like not knowing what the hell's going on. But I will say, I'm having a blast while killing you. Yeah, so, you know, for a game that's based off of the Star Fox multiplayer, Damn, I'm actually pretty impressed. I like, I kind of like this game and Star Fox 64, their multiplayer was not so great. Um, and I think part of their problem was that they had just too much space. As weird as that might seem for a game that kind of requires space for um, making like crazy maneuvers, um, but I think the the like spherical level design and I think the small space actually makes sure that we're in combat more often. We don't really lose each other, and if, even if we do, it's not very hard to find each other, especially yeah, yeah. with the uh, the little mini map in mind, which I haven't really been using, but I haven't really needed to either. Um, so that's kind of my feelings on the matter. Where are you? Where are you? No, no. I'm not gonna let you win. No, damn it. Boom, boom. That's all she wrote. And immediately you come back? Okay, all right. All right there, all right now. Yeah, boy, get some health packs. What you waiting for? Oh, shield. So, um, oh, what was I going to say? Something I mean, what do you about... think about the design of this? Or what do you think of the level design, at least? Uh, I know I asked you about this, this spherical... I lost again? What? This is BS. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, okay, so, like, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Um, it things are not exactly intuitive and that that is kind of like a gripe i have about it the controls i feel are a little too um sharp if that makes any sense like i don't feel like i'm fly flying a plane i feel like i'm flying the most advanced gravity pack that exists that's <laughs> kind of fair uh, I, I would i would somewhat agree with that at the same time if it if it was um oh, how did you describe it in uh, our Two episode thing of um, Mercenary Kings. Um, oh, um, I don't remember the movement. You were you described it as like slidey, something like that. Like it was very uncontrolled. It was it was very unresponsive, or not immediately. It was I don't know. I, I don't remember I, what the word I used for it was. Whatever it was, I feel like if it was too slidey in this game, it would actually make pulling off maneuvers very tough. So I agree that it's a little too sharp, but at the same time, I might have chosen too sharp of controls than not sharp enough. I, I am not disputing that at all. Absolutely, That's actually immediately when I pick up a flying game like this or a vehicle game or whatever, like the first thing that comes to my mind is like, oh man, this is going to really suck because mm -hmm. I, I'm just going to run into shit. Double tap the bumpers to skip the thing and then not to get do the a input. barrel roll, which what? is not a barrel roll. Oh, that's not what I. You know what I didn't. That's what it said. Double tap it. So, oh, that's that's kind of how I feel about it. Are we doing another match? Or are we done? Um, we're done. But I do want to talk about one thing on the in 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 a level. <laughs> choose a level. I, want <laughs> I don't want to choose a level. I wanted to look at the other things that we can do. The rules. The rules. Yes, okay. you fool. <laughs> okay, well, I can just talk to it, but um, it's this is split screen right now, right? And we could play this online if we wanted to. Um, one gripe I do have about the split screen is that if there are only two players in the match, I feel like we should have the full width of the screen and not the tiny, like, quadrant. 
I don't know, that's fair. Um, I don't really know why they, they didn't implement that, because I feel like it's not the most complicated thing in the world. Um, so I think that's a little disappointing, but ultimately I guess it didn't render the game unplayable. It just meant that we had tiny screens to work with. And that can be frustrating. Yeah, and I feel like if you're only playing with one other person, you want to make that as enjoyable as possible. Um, because this is obviously a game that's designed for, you know, three or four players at a time. Um, you know what? Here's my suggestion for them, for their art, is I am... This goes back to how I was talking about how um, there's like a effort, there's a wave of like resurgence of games when it came to indie, right? Yeah, like yeah. First, we started seeing a lot of old NES style or old Atari, like like modern Atari, versions of modern versions of those old types of games. And as as the years have gone by, like very rapidly, we're starting to go through the games again. So now we're starting to see a lot of PlayStation and 64 games um, that ask games. And, Basically, uh, <laughs> you referring to like a low poly 3d exactly games. and this falls under and a lot of it like like I, I just like looking at the world and the ships and stuff like that it's really cool i i can totally feel like i'm playing with old games but then i look at these symbols and these art assets right here and i'm thrown off a little bit so i i That's guess fair it's that... it's very like <clears throat> 2D art, like vector art almost. It's not quite vector art, but it's close enough. And then we have this like very nicely rendered like low poly 3D art in the background and it kind of clashes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the the biggest thing I would say artistic wise because I actually really do enjoy the Hell, art style of this game. I think even adding like a good border on like these these buttons here like why is there no border? Why is there no framing going on? I think that it kind of feels out of place. And even like some of this text, just like have a, a nice, like partially opaque thing behind it. So it's not like hard to read that text, you know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's some it's some basic <coughs> UI kind of uh, art design kind of stuff. But no, I, I agree either way. Like it does kind of clash. Yeah, if it weren't for the small screens, I, I probably would have had a hell of a time playing and and getting four players together in one match. There is apparently an online mode, so that would be exciting mm -hmm. to actually try out. Have yeah. the full screen and play with your friends and trash talk while you're blowing them up. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Right? So yeah, cool. I enjoyed it. I, I really liked it, actually. Yeah, no, I, I liked it too. Um... I'm curious to see what some of the unlockable characters or if they plan on adding any weapons later on, but uh, uh, overall I had a good time with it, so <clears throat> yeah, cool. check it out. This was Sky Arena, and uh, Sky it's, Arena. It's, it's on Steam. It's, it released uh, same day as this episode, so I mean, go over there and check it out. Yeah. We have a link in the description. He's and, uh, pretending like he's pointing down, That's right. even I'm... though <laughs> nobody can see him do that <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this, give us a like or a subscribe. And if you have games you want to see us play in the future, let us know. And if you have a game you want us to play that you are developing, shoot us an email because, I mean, that's exactly what these guys did and now it's on the show. So, just gonna put that out there. You see us play Skyrim, you know? Yeah! And Chris hacked the game. H hacked it? Hacks. No. Hacks. Bye, everybody. Oh my god, can I do a whole episode like that one day? Or I just... I don't think I can do an episode in the design very good and I like it very much. Please not this one though. Welcome to... Hello! We like your game a lot! <laughs>